democracy is work in progress. The point about citizenship, uh, as my colleague uh, mentioned, is a very important one. Mm. People need to be conscious and they need to be aware. And they need to see themselves as being part and parcel of the state to which they belong to. Because that state protects them, it takes care of their fundamental human needs and welfare, and it guarantees them a future and also for their children a future. Part of the crisis we have is that increasingly the distance between the people and the state is widening. And this is because we also need to pay attention to the economic dimensions of democracy. What we do not really pay attention to most of the time is that the history of democracy had an economic component. And because of the way democracy came to Africa, historically after colonialism, Africa could not replicate the same conditions for the kind of democracy that we had in Europe, North America, and places like Australia. So that economic gap is also there. And so when we talk about the challenges and the question of the freedom of speech, yet the freedom of speech sometimes is abused, and that is why we have institutions. It is the responsibility of institutions to take care of those that tend to abuse the freedom of speech. And I'm sure my colleague understands and he appreciates that um, institutions exist to play a role. But there is a challenge in Africa. The whole question of the gap between the very rich and the very poor is something that has implications for the ability of people to even begin to ask for their rights. They want bread. And if you look at how the protests in Sudan started, it was all about bread. And if you look at the, 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 the protests of the 1990s that eventually led to, to a wave of democracies across uh, Africa, it was all about bread. So democracy in Africa needs to have a human face. It needs to have a people's face. Uh, people need to eat. People need to know that when they come out of school, they will get a job that can cover their basic needs. Uh, people want to see a future for their children that is better for them.